Hey, what's up, folks? So, we've all been in matches with defaults or free to plays. Bruh, look at this dude. <laughs> depending on what game you play and we all know that they are bad well most of the time that's true what dragon says poor people are bad he is bullying why are you bullying me why is he being so mean okay i said it most of the time it's true for those of you who are just overly sensitive people aren't making fun of the fact that they are defaults or free to plays they are making fun of the poor skills and hilariously questionable decisions they make. Okay, now what are defaults and free to plays? These types of players are either little kids with no access to money, an older person who clearly doesn't play video games, or actually a poor person. Let's be real here. Most of the time, it's either the little kid or older person. Because even though you're too poor to buy skins or whatever, there is always a chance for you to not to be terrible at the game. So that leaves us with the little kid or older person. Now let's get to the point of the video. Which is better, Fortnite Default or Team Fortress 2 Free to Play? Because, you know, I'm Dragon and I need to make a competition out of everything. So, which one is more desirable to play as? Alright, first let's determine who can navigate maps better. In TF2, there are indoor and outdoor maps that have tunnels, turns, that are reactive. In Fortnite, you have one big battle royale map with different places. Now, right off the bat, I gotta give defaults a point for this one. Because I actually don't know how you can get lost in Fortnite. Even if it's your first time. You know why? Because Fortnite has only one huge map with different locations to memorize, which is extremely easy to do. Plus, it has a map with an arrow that shows your location, so even if you somehow get lost, you'll immediately know where you are. Now in TF2, there are still players that go the wrong directions. Even if there are labels. A map notorious for its ability to confuse players is CP Steel. I'm not saying these maps in TF2 are like a maze or anything brain intensive. It has simple maps like 2 Fort. I'm just saying that Fortnite map navigation is so much easier. So defaults win this one. So if these players were to get in a fight, it would not be entertaining at all and would probably be hard to watch. So in Fortnite, do you actually have to be the best to win? No, you don't. You can absolutely do nothing and get lucky. In Team Fortress 2, you can do the same. But most of the time, you'll get vote kicked for being idle. So in Fortnite, unless you want to win, there's no pressure to do anything because it's every player for themselves and there is no scoreboard. I could say the same with TF2 because there are many other game modes you can play. But in this video, we are talking about free to plays and defaults in their natural habitat, which are normal pubs. So I'll say TF2 free to plays have an advantage in skill because of the tiny pressure that they might get from their team. Let's look at the free taunts and emotes for both games and see which is better. Okay, so as a free to play, you have a different taunt for each item you equip and for each class. In Fortnite, you have the dance moves Ebo. Which is cool and all, but that is only one emote for a default. While in TF2, you have more than a dozen for free to play. You can even kill with your free to play taunts. Stab, stab, stab. I'm going to solve through your own. So, free to plays have better taunts. Which game is more player friendly? By player friendly, I mean if you've never played the game before, how easy is it to learn and improve? This doesn't mean which game has a higher skill ceiling. TF2 does have a training mode for new players, but it's just for the basics of the game and will not make you understand everything. 
If you play TF2 for one day, I guarantee you that you'll not know about most things. There's just too much to digest. TF2 is also more skill intensive. There are 9 classes you can learn how to play and with also different weapon combinations. I remember when I was new to the game and I couldn't play any class decently except for the pyro. I couldn't even rocket jump or sticky jump if my life depended on it. Now doing those things is like breathing. TF2 does require more skill but this doesn't take the fun away from the game of course. In Fortnite, it's fairly simple. The only thing you have to worry about is which guns to use in certain situations and uh, building faster. Therefore, defaults get a point in this. There's one thing that all noobs share, which is luck. I've seen defaults get victory royale by doing absolutely nothing but hide the whole game. In TF2, free to plays get lucky by random crits. It's like having a SMG in Fortnite, then suddenly that SMG turns into a golden scar for a few seconds. So basically, in TF2, if you're playing pubs, you have a chance of the game giving you three times extra damage on weapons you use. Luck is literally built into pubs, and since getting a victory roll by doing nothing is not as common as random crits, free to plays are way luckier than defaults. Random crits happen in every pub match. So, therefore, free plays get the point in this. It's all fun and all analyzing these players and their terrible gaming skills, but which game has players that are more helpful? Which game stands up and says, Hey, you may not know much. You may not be decent at the game, but we are not going to be complete douchebags and do nothing if you need our help. Since most defaults in free plays are not invested in the game enough to look up tutorials or guides, they'll definitely need some quick advice and guidance. So to test this, I went undercover as a default in a free to play in each game to see which players are more helpful. Alright, let's see how free to play I can get. Hello. Spy um, Hi, this is like my second day playing this game. Uh, what button do I click to build? Uh, four. 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 Four? Oh, no, no. Oh, yeah, four, 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 four. Okay. Yeah. Where, where should I build, like, specifically and stuff? Come to the Sensor sewers and get the briefcase. The sewer? Where, where's that? Oh, alright, don't <laughs> that was hilarious. I got a random crit on that demo. He he's probably like mad as hell right now. Yo, what class should I play if I want to be useful? Because I feel like I'm not. Uh, normally, uh, pyro D to start off. All right. Or if you want to stay on the sidelines, play medic or engineer. Oh, yeah, I can play medic, play. dude. Everybody wants medic. I can play medic. All right. So how does this work? So I have this needle gun thing. I just shoot. Do I heal you with it? You, you have a syringe gun. If you press two, you'll bring out your medic gun, and then three, you have your bone set. That's just like a uh, get up close and personal oh. weapon. Once your uber charge is full, you'll gain uh, 8 seconds of invincibility and you gain uber by healing teammates. Right click to activate uber. Oh, okay. Wow, oh, these players are actually helpful. I mean, I did expect it, but not this much. Oh, almost got taken out by my own sentry. Fuck, I got blown off the bridge. You can do it, David. Also, uh, you also want, you're gonna want some different weapons. Like, uh, if you can, try to get the, uh, the crossbow and the uber shot. Because they're both really good weapons. Much this game, I just killed two of their uh, players by just shooting in a straight hit, line. And what is out. it? But remember, there no really is no bad play style. The no. most important thing is to have a cool hat. 
That is definitely, that's like definitely important. I don't have any hats. That's fine. You'll get some. They're just mess. They're just messing with you. Pretty much, this game has a working economy around in-game cosmetics, aka hats. Also, um, I figured to mention this now. Uh, this game, uh, it's got, it's got a lot of good things about it. Like, uh, one of them is that some people will be friendly. They probably won't hurt you, or they definitely won't hurt you. They're friendly. How do I put this? So, if you see a person crouching, um, just like not attacking at you, maybe giving you like a little, like a little um, shaking their head up and down. Yeah, some like, some, some shit camera. like that. Don't feel like you'll fake friendly for a while and then kill everybody. Oh yeah, those yeah. guys are assholes. I'm an asshole. Fuck friendlies. No, like uh, sometimes <laughs> we friendlies run. will, sometimes uh, friendlies will be friendlies, quote unquote, and they'll just try and take the intel. Little by little. Um, unless it's like a boss cut spy, which is pretty funny. Uh, I think it's fine. Oh. Well, I usually just kill AKA. anything. AKA, you got a lot to learn, pal. Enjoy the ride. It's a fun one. Hi, this is my second match. Oh, nice to meet you. Good for you. Second match of that day, or second match of that game? total? So how do you like build fast in this game? Uh, you set key bindings to what you prefer, and then you just build accordingly. Like I have my stair set to F, so I can just press F and build. And then All right. my, my floor set to C. It's not too hard. It just takes practice. You can go to the building area and practice on that one too. All right. Yeah. Okay, what does this item do? Like, I'm holding it. This one, I'm... Yeah. It's a grip. That's the building I'm gonna... process. Okay, let's see. So you can build, like, if you have your settings default, press F3, and then you build a wall. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. Oh! I need to destroy this, sure. There's gonna be some more people around here. The person will have to knock down. Yeah, I usually play TF2, not this. I have to it takes a while to get used to it, but like I said, there's a building mode there too. Oh, oh shit. And then the game, too. So you can go there and practice the building, get fast at it, it's all muscle memory. Okay, thanks. Now, how long did it take you to uh, like, build I'm the wall? I'm still learning, so. Like, I'm not even. There's a lot of people that can build really fast, it just depends on how good your key binding are, how familiar you are with it. Oh, I've seen... I've seen some Twitch streamers build, like, towers in, like, under two seconds. Yeah. Well, uh, I guess they yeah. have to, or, like, people are gonna shit on them. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna just keep eating these edibles. Yeah, the mushrooms and stuff like that. I'll give you five heals. Five heals. Remember to kind of farm with some match as well. You do run out of match very quickly when you start building. All right. Clearly, as you saw, both games have amazing communities. So defaults and free to plays get a point in this. I couldn't find any matches where players wouldn't help. I actually didn't expect this amount of help I got from both games. And that made me a bit guilty for pretending to be bad. Well, it was a close score, but free to play is won by one point. So if you're not a gamer, TF2 is a game for you.